and this is Hibixter back from SNKCapcom.com and I am with the tournament organizer, Neil Russell, aka Russell. Hello. Russell, thank you very, very much for being with us today. Uh, thanks, thanks, Ray. Thank you. Uh, so, I got a couple of questions for you. Um, how do you feel that T12 is going so far? Comparing it to the previous T tournaments, I mean, this one seems to be a little bit on a higher level. Uh, the first uh, the first T tournament that I touched was T10. Okay. That was with Dark Dragon and uh, JS Master. Sorry, my voice is a little bit gone. No well. problem. No problem. Dark Dragon and JS Master. Mm -hmm. um, there was a few. I'm not gonna lie. There was a bit of issues with T10. It was a learning experience, basically. Okay. Uh, we did not expect to have 32 teams for Street Fighter Vanilla, so that lasted for two days. <laughs> so that screwed us over. T11 was actually run really well. Mm -hmm. It's basically like, it was run really well. You, I have, remember you, have, that. you have great staff. If mm -hmm. you have great staff, you have, you have the best tournament experience. And ever. would you say you have that same level of staff for this tournament? Of course, of course. I even have a lot of good staff right now. Like Vince, I, once he started the bracket for AE and Marvel, I didn't even want to touch that bracket anymore because he, he has his own... Excellent. He has his own quirks now, so I don't even touch that anymore. Mm -hmm. But uh, other than that, I have we have volunteers this time around. Excellent. Uh, and we were passing out t-shirts for people who volunteer, so that's a good trade-off for them. Mm -hmm. And we waive their venue fee and things like that. And um, it's 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 more organized in a way because we were expecting 300 people already. Right. Anyway. So okay, excellent. And, and the outcome of this one thus far, you think this is the best tea tournament to date? Let's see what people say. But to me, in my opinion, it's the most well organized. Excellent. It's the most people. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get a lot of comments. Whether it be good or bad, it's comments. Right. And we're certainly gonna take that in. And you know. It'll be good. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so now a little bit more on you. Uh, when did you enter the uh, fighting game scene and how long have you been playing for? Uh, I played uh, Soul Calibur. My first fighting game that's really serious is Tekken. Mm. That's my first uh, fighting game. Uh, Tekken Tag. The first one. Tekken Tag 2 came out recently too. Yeah. So that's good. We're waiting for that. Yeah. Two years or something. Uh, and uh, Soul Calibur 2 got really uh, serious. Mm -hmm. we act I actually went to EVO 2004. I was there with EVO Moment 37. Oh, nice. You can actually see me in that video. Uh, uh, if you want, I can point it out. But That's funny. Yeah. But uh, we I was there. Um, I did not pass the pools. Mm -hmm. There's a story behind it, but we're not going to go through that. But uh, after that, it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's fun. And it's great to see, like, all these people that have the same passion. Absolutely. For the game that we all love. Right? Absolutely. So, it's good. so, considering the outcome of international players to this tournament, I mean, it's, I'm, get, I'm thinking maybe it's the, the numbers of them increased over the last years. Um, what are your future goals and ambitions to strengthen the gaming community? So we have a, we, we're going to announce it tomorrow. I have to make a speech tonight, but we're going to announce it tomorrow. We're going to do one big tournament in April, probably early May. Mm -hmm. um, I'm already talking with Mad Cats, uh, what's, uh, Mark Man, I'm sorry, I'm already oh. talking with him. I've known him since Tekken Beautiful. days, yeah. So we're going to try to bring some Japanese players here. Uh, I don't know what the outcome will that be, maybe, um, well, I don't know what the outcome will that be, but that's something that we're considering. We're Beautiful. actually bringing international players this time. Like international, when I mean international, like Japanese players. And so. is this, are you, are you focusing on integrating this with EVO, maybe for EVO points and stuff? That yes, yes, that's the goal altogether. We're going to be focusing on uh, getting Evo points for people. Although I've been told by Arturo or in Wolfron that it didn't really matter that much because the way Evo works is there's like 2,000 entrants and you're still going to end up fighting, playing against like 20, 30 people, right? right. So it's, it's, it's not, there's really no great drawback, as right. they said. I see. But I mean, like a lot, some these tournaments that are Evo related seem to get a lot more attention from yes, yes, stream yes, monsters, yes. from people, audiences, that's, and whatnot. That's the whole so. goal. That's that's the whole goal altogether. Like we're gonna try to get as many audiences as we want. Excellent. We, we wanna. I mean, the way Toronto Top Tiers works is uh, we wanna be recognized. We want like if anybody want thinks of Toronto, oh well, they go to TorontoTopTiers.com and things right. like that. We wanna be the not. I won't say we're a company, but we wanna be the the. We want to be the people that creates tournaments where people can have fun and Excellent. it's it's just to combine the communities together. That's that's really the main goal. I mean, if I can rant for like a minute, my main goal with the tournament with the tournament community mm -hmm. is um, there'll be no bad blood. 
for e each game. Right. That's why we're highlighting top four of everything tomorrow, right? right. I could easily just put Super or you know Marvel, Marvel tomorrow, right? Right. But, but I want people to realize, like you know what, you have other communities in here. That's right? true. That's some true of them too. do play Street Fighter, so it's good that they added. I mean, it's, right. they're actually thinking. So some of them are thanking me that I added this game, so they can participate on it. Speaking of adding games, King of Fighters 13. Thoughts? Uh, I haven't played it specifically. I only played it in the big in Getty. I only played it in Getty Arcade. Okay. Um, it's they're, they're saying that this game is going to be probably the next big King of Fighters after King of Fighters 2002, being the most well balanced, uh, the best. Um, the unlimited or the Dream Match thing? Or? It's going to be yeah. King of Fighters 13 is going to come out on console in okay. uh, November, and it's going to be much better than 12. That hopefully is going to have good online play. Gen hope, people are hoping it's going to get a good following because it's a very well balanced game and whatnot. And uh, I was just wondering, would you are you considering picking it up, or what are your thoughts on it? Or? We will. Um, the thing with KOF is there's no community for it. No. I mean, I gotta tell you right now, there's no community for it in Toronto. There's no community for it. There's people that will buy the game, but the question is, how many of them will keep playing it? Now, here's another question for you. If say there were some parties in the states, I know some people who are actually traveling around. Establishing community, helping uh, you know communities establish a game base, or would you be interested in uh, working with these people in order to establish community for this game if they're willing to travel to make this effort? Of course, of course. Again, the whole goal of the site is bringing the community together. Right. So, with me being said that there's no community right. for it, we're gonna build the community. Exactly. That's our goal. Excellent. We're gonna build a community, whether it be ten, maybe fifteen, or whatever. Mm -hmm. We're gonna build the community for this. Beautiful. And I mean, it's not like we're gonna exclude any. Fight. See the the thing the thing with the community, Street Fighter games. I mean, Street Fighter community in general is they don't want to play any other games. Right. It's 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 a bad way of thinking, but that's how they think. I can't help it. Right. They that they moved to Marvel because it's a Capcom game. Right. But anything that's like Namco or you know uh, Arxis or so so do you think Street Fighter Cross Tekken will try to help build that bridge? Or will that be a totally new game that... I, I hope so. I really yeah. hope so. I hope that it does. Because everybody's integrating like some tag system now. So right. I hope so. I, I really do. Like the community, the, again, the whole goal really is just to bring them all together. Very I mean, true. there there's, what, 150 people that are watching, going to be watching tomorrow. Right. Tekken and small games. Some of them is going to be like... Some of them's got to be, oh, this game is cool. Right. Of course, it might garner the attention. Eighty percent of them will probably say this game sucks. I'm gonna go grab a drink or a coke or something, <laughs> right? But, but at least there's a, there's ten people that will stay. Right. That's so. that's true. That's true. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, I, I have a great team, like T12. I if I, if I can thank anybody, I would thank uh, Dark Dead, Vince, The Flex, Alex. John, our sponsors, and Mega Collectible. We are uh, Larry, uh, Canadian Joysticks, and Godlike. Larry, sorry, Godlike. We all. I've been bombarding them for three months. This is this has been a six-month planning stages, and as you can see, it's. It, I think, in my opinion, it's really successful. I think I think so too. Yeah. It's uh, it's definitely. I've been hearing the general consensus. I mean. Um, other than the fact that maybe the room is a bit small for the number of people, you probably weren't expecting this I number I wasn't of expecting this number so of people. So definitely next time it's going to be probably in a bigger in hall. In a bigger place, yes. So other than that, though, I've been hearing generally good feedback. Yeah. So I'm hoping for the best. Yeah, so in, in, in retrospect for the room, <laughs> I was thinking of how T11 happened. Right. So T11 had... 150 people. Mm -hmm. This room can fit 300. Right. So, so I already accounted twice the amount of what I had last wow. year. So I, I really did not expect it to be. I, I'm pretty sure we did not pass that number. Mm. But if you look in that room, you. You, yeah, you would need, see. People need space to move. You would see. You would see. So <laughs> tomorrow sure. we're gonna have a lot of chairs in there. Excellent. Okay. Well, thank you so much uh, for sharing your uh, your thoughts with us. Thanks, Ray. I thank truly you. hope that we're uh, gonna make this grow. Yes, um, of course. Me personally, I would love to contribute more to make this happen. I love the fighting game community. Um, if there's anything that me or SNK Capcom can do for maybe helping out and whatnot. Okay. I'll be more than happy to That'd be really uh, great. let you know and I, yeah. give you my thoughts. Okay, awesome. That'd Excellent. be really good. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you again. Thank, thank you. you for listening to me rant. Excellent. Yes. And thank you for trying your best to speak despite your, <laughs> your <laughs> voice. My voice is gone. <laughs> <laughs> this is Hibixture signing out for SK Capcom.